Deer exist in this game, by the way. They're completely different than monsters, apparently. There are no deer monsters. Booga booga. I spooked him. Now he's dead. Why is he? I still don't get why he's hunting with a pistol, but... And yeah, there's no downside to going on uh, training in this game. So like the Errantry version on this game, there's no downside. You don't lose extra weeks of life or anything like that. Realistically, if you have unlimited money, you would go every single month. It's much more efficient to actually raise your stats. It's, uh, and then you have the chance to get attacks, which is great too. I've talked before about how Errantry is such a weird way to phrase what you're doing on the expedition they're not they're not expeditions expeditions are a different thing in monster rancher 2 but like going out into the wilderness to like hunt down you're basically bounty hunting right but like errantry is not a term that anybody ever uses in the english language 60 percent chance on saw oops i missed my chance fuck sword's got 88 so it's 22 percent less accurate so it's minus two that's not bad. 47. Ooh. Good damage. Akum's got a lot of life. Ah, oh, I missed the saw. Maybe we'll just sort it up. Just to keep our lead. Oh, there we go. Look at that. 69. Bullseye. Ooh, back-to-back -back crits. So we're not going to get a KO on Makum, but... Uh, we can stop him from attacking too often. Easy peasy. That sound effect keeps lingering. I don't know what the deal with that is. We'll try and get into our next battle quickly, so we can stop it. Goran gave up. Nice. Okay, so obviously a balanced build is not what you're trying to do in Monster Rancher. It's not the best way to win, but it's working for us so far. This game really doesn't require it that much effort in that respect we've even got 143 intelligence and no intelligence attacks i probably will start uh um focusing more on just power or something going forward if i can have high enough defense in life i don't really need to worry about having an insanely high amount of speed It's a lot of misses in a row. Ah, I missed two though. Swords. Finish it off with a couple swords. Ah. Thought I could have done it in two. He's got Fury. Why has he got such a short face? Weird looking dog. Okay, so. Three more to go. Gorgon. He's only got a hundred and some life, so we can take him out pretty easily, I think. Doesn't have a lot of speed either. It's got 290 power, so it's got slightly more power than us, but all of his other stats are worse. Hit him with the saw for 35. He's got a little bit of defense. Another 35. We're, we're going to start getting some KOs here. I'm liking it. Reliably. I love how Saw is my most expensive tech right now at 15. Okay, so if I hit him with the Saw here, he will die. I got 64%. We'll go for it. 36, nice. 
That's the quickest KO we've got so far. Took us longer to kill Abba one even. Obi Wan Kenobi and Obi Wan Kenobi only had 115 life as well, but also no defense. Misha gave up. Nice. Now Enthau and Quarty are all that's left. Enthau's got really high defense. I should show you the the information blurbs it gives because they are pretty neat in this game, whereas in Monster Rancher 2 they're just useless. They don't tell you anything about the monster. Okay, so once again, probably just going to wait for Foolery because Saw does not have the best accuracy. I got 33% chance to hit with it. It was carried by accuracy up until this point. There we go. 44. Eh, not bad. I probably don't have to rely on it. I can just sword my way to victory, probably. Or maybe not. Not at this rate, anyway. There we go. 18. Not bad. Two in a row. Ooh. Oh, whatever. You want to dodge everything? That's okay. You're allowed. 33 on Saw. Can't dodge that. Ah, 53 damage on the crit. Get got. Okay, one more to go. Okay, and then we'll move on to rank B. I'm excited for that. It's much higher prize money there. That can fund a lot of training. The way gels move in this game is so weird. They're not nearly as like fluid as they are in Monster Rancher 2. They hadn't figured out the physics on it yet. So 348 defense. I'm not going to be able to do a lot of damage at all. Gel has like a slap move in this game that's really funny. Gel actually has a lot of moves. Yeah, there you go. There's the slap. Jell has a lot of moves in this game that are not in Monster Rancher 2. There's a gigantic foot as well. Like, uh... It's called Jell Stomp, and it's just like... It's kind of the same as Jell Press. In, like... Execution, but it has a slightly different... Uh, animation on it. Jell did get a bit of a rework, yes. There's nothing as cool as Gelcopter. Gelcopter is the best attack. It's my favorite attack in probably any Monster Rancher game. The, the gel attacks in Monster Rancher 3 are great too, though. Missile, and, or Rocket, I forget what it's called. I think it's Gel Missile, and uh, Spa. Spa is amazing too. Okay, so very low impact match. Not a lot going on there, but uh, we won. Got the win. Okay, sick. Praise him. Yes. Hello, you're in rank B now. Take this magic scroll. Rank B tournament at the end of the month. Vitamin D and 5k will probably work this month then. We'll get that. I don't have any items. Okay. So we'll work this month and then we'll go on some training after that. We'll be at almost 10k for the first time. We'll be at 10k because of the work actually. So that's great. And then at that point we can fund a couple of trainings. Yeah, like the optimal way to play this game is you do training every single month. And then when they come back, you give them two taffies, two mint leaves. 
and then and meat. 